shit. Now, oh my god. Good morning. Well, morning for me as I film this. Might not be morning for you, but this morning I'm in Blackpool. This is Blackpool Pleasure Beach behind me. I've never been here before, so I thought it would be nice to come somewhere different for a change, somewhere I've never been, take some photos in a new location and talk about what is probably my favourite lens I've ever used. The 35mm f1.8. I like that one. It's my sort of photograph. Now you might be wondering what actually makes the 35mm prime so special and for me it starts with the actual focal length itself which sits in that sweet spot which I usually think is around about 35 to 50mm. And I say that's the sweet spot because that is often what is mentioned to be the closest to mimicking the natural field of view of the human eye. And that for me makes the images that you can create with the 35mm prime look much more real much more natural and because of that much more pleasing to the eye for me anyway you've not got any really exaggerated depth or compression that you tend to get at tighter focal lengths and it's not so wide that it starts to look unnatural what I love most about the 35mm Prime is the versatility that it brings because it is wide enough to get some of those really nice sweeping landscape shots but it is still intimate enough to be able to get those nice close up and more personal shots. So that means whether I'm out shooting landscapes, portraits, street photography, videos, the 35mm never fails to deliver. I use the 35mm f1.8 in this room for most of my YouTube talking headshots and yet I know that it's usually going to be the first lens that I pick up when I'm going out to do some photography as well. I honestly can't believe how quiet it is today. It's like Saturday. I don't know, it's like the beginning of March. It's so quiet. I apologise if all you can hear is that god awful music. It reminds me of like a school disco. It's on the pier over there. Five, six, seven, eight. Do, do, baby, you're driving me crazy. I'm not going to sing anymore. Now I just want to mention the aperture very quickly because on a prime lens typically you're going to have a much wider aperture than you would on a zoom lens. So with this 35mm for example this has an aperture of 1.8. It's really easy to fall into that trap and the habit of wanting to shoot everything wide open at f1.8. But when you're using a prime lens, well you're using the zoom lens as well, shooting everything wide open is one of the worst things you can do. Well, it's not one of the worst things you can do, that sounds pretty extreme, doesn't it? But you want to stop down your aperture and use the correct aperture for the scene you are shooting. It's very rare that I find myself shooting wide open at f1.8 for that reason. I'm really off-putted by that music. <laughs> Baby, you're driving me crazy. However, what it gives you is the option to use it if you need it, because for some creative reasons, and that's it at the end of the day, it's all down to your creative choice when you choose what aperture to use, but don't fall into that trap and the habit of using it all of the time, because by stopping down your aperture, I've been shooting most things today at maybe f8, f9, and that is typically when you'll get the sharpest results from the lens as well. Another reason I really like this focal length is that a lot of the photographers that I follow and I'm inspired by tend to shoot within this range as well, maybe 35 to 40 millimeter. James Popsis is probably my biggest inspiration at the moment and he tends to shoot everything at 40 millimeters. There's just something about that whole focal range that I really like and I've, I've never been able to quite figure out what it is, but it's wide enough to be able to fit a whole load of things in your scene and the challenge is really trying to simplify what it is you want the viewer to see in your photograph. And I genuinely think that for me, that is where a lot of the enjoyment for photography comes from. Simplifying a scene as much as you possibly can. I'm gonna make a video on that in the future. Now obviously you can't, as much as I would like to, shoot everything at 
35mm because it's just not possible. If I wanted to vlog for example, I'm going to need to use something much wider, probably within the range of 14 to 20 mil. That's much wider than a 35 mil. No one wants to see my face at 35 mil. If I wanted to shoot sports or wildlife, then I'm going to probably need to use a telephoto lens, like a 70 to 200, maybe a 100 to 400. But the 35 mil is just the lens that I find myself using most of the time for the style of photography that I love and I will use it to film these YouTube videos, I'll use it to film B-roll. It is just such a versatile lens. I thought I'd just come and hide out under the pier because it's just started raining, believe it or not. I'm filming a video on this channel yet again and it is raining. Yes. Now, oh my God. I don't know what's going on here, but that just started leaking and now I'm a little bit scared that I'm gonna get soaked under it. It's really airy under here. Really airy. Quick, 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 quick. Yes. I'm so done with filming in this country. I want to go somewhere else. Where should I, where should I move to? Somewhere hot. That being said though, if it didn't rain, I don't think I'd have come under here and I really like, there's some really cool angles under here, like reflections in the water and things like that and using all the poles looks quite cool. I do think that everyone does have their own preferred focal length, that they will find that they shoot most of their things at because maybe they prefer the look of that focal length. But I think that's something that you find with experience the more that you find your style as a photographer and videographer over time. So let me know your thoughts on the 35mm Prime or maybe you have another lens of focal length that you find yourself shooting with most of the time. Let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe and if you want to know more about another one of the most frequently used lenses, I recommend you watch this video next and I will see you over there.